Red Dead Redemption 2 Gameplay Part 10 Yes, Miss O'Shea. Uh, oh, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, Honest how mistake, is Dutch? Uh. I mean, how does he seem to you? Oh, that's it, not yeah. the same as usual, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What do you want? Uh, I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking on. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, <laughs> have I ever right, lied uh, to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Hmm. Come on then, you miserable bastards! Yeah! I'm gonna put on the We only been down here all of five minutes. While you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. Finding the nearest drug house. Hey, put it at the wagon. You was on the other way. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crop. Hmm. Throws up ahead. In the gunna chicken, in the gunna, in the gunna, in the gunna, fire ready, that is mark. The payangra mark. What? What is gunna? Shard gunna. Okay. Double barreled shard gun. Okay, it's that shit. Hmm. When? Soon, Williamson. My sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Wow, 
வந்துட்டாங்க You know boys I I don't I don't want to get shot but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too. Much. Oh, Thank you miss it. இப்படி வந்தா வலிப்பறி பண்ணாமல் Just shut up, Williamson. Keep on up. 
Everyone, stay tight! You wait, you sons of bitches! Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men at camp. All right! Yeah. Whoa! Let's, let's, let's hide in let's here. Let's Quick! Quick. Get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Oh. Night time, Charles. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Yeah. Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? But, but tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. This place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers. Charles, we got more of the bastards on this side. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone enough to secure it. More okay. on the right here. That was a close one. Shoot him again. Move over. from finding us anyway. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. This fella really don't like getting robbed. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. It's over for you. Behind you, Charles. How about we stop robbing? What? Cornwall for a while. I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall, all right? They're coming in from the front. Shit! Fire! Oh, right behind you! You're good at shooting! Oh, I was Hold them back! Do not let them close in on us! Get out of here soon, we're 
your charcoal! I'm gonna leave you! I'm gonna kill you so good. <laughs> no more chance. Wow. Can you let go of this? Go to hell. Bastard. Shooting. Yes. We all still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Yeah. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it. Come on, get out of here. Every man split up. Come on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Hmm. Nice. Mission complete. Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. 
There she is. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd hmm. be nice. Arthur, yes, kid. You got a lot on? Daddy, man, never know. Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here. Who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to Reckon there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. What do you I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Hmm, Kudra Ola Varada. Come on, pal. Come on. It's this way. On me. You know, I might admit that these crazies, I might admit these crazies. Four. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all... Who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. 
Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazy. These are sitting on weapons. We're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're, They're supposed, supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. The wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looks like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. You sure we want to be this close? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady bed. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on from that wall up there. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Thank you, you're pretty kind, you're Anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? All right, some tents. Gavin gun up there too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Hey! You all being right! We 
We going in already? Protect the weapon! Get the firing station! I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... Yeah. <sighs> it's good to have yeah. something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. We don't want to tip it out here. Hey, I like yeah, it. I got you know? a deep yeah, so I guess my better judgment. Just it's just it. You worry about you. He wasn't on the Viticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But that's not but nothing. Me and Dutch and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. And 
ஆனாலே அதுக்கு முன்னாடி கரெக்டா Hey, the camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. நினைக்கிறேன் சின்ன யாரு வாங்கலாம் back to where it came from. Why? I got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the great white horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Deliver the moonshine. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying that. on a super affair. I've been, well, helping The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Yes, not one. Not sure. They don't speak the same to involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business on the chair. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. No, calm the time. We'll be watching you. 
You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. In the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's out well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax oh. I ain't here to rob you <laughs> no it seems that's easy enough <laughs> wanna do a deal what do you sell that stuff for dollar a bottle you give us 50 cents it's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that mm -hmm. a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Oh, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. Right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're... Inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need some. I ain't playing dresses. Who's driving who? You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's... <laughs> idiot brother. Man, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just... Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor man. Hey there. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't yeah, mind him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. 
One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now! Enjoy the money! <laughs> Come along, friend! <laughs> Let's hand out the liquor. Gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, we Oh, the 
Mage is dead! Look out on your right! You see any more of them? Don't think so. Them. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? Hey, I reckon it's booze. more they don't want another gang on their patch. Mm -hmm. Pat! Yeah, okay, I'm going to Aiyah! All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mark Braithley, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly Ooh. but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Finn. We'll make an actor of you yet! <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. The Tamakuda of the game. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law, you couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe, in gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. We gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for me. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter.
evening, Arthur. Muy bien. Put on some warmer clothes, friend. You okay? Mina Nadia. Hey, Arthur! Napa. Oh, in the bona. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion at Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. Very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, it's better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor? Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a distraction. And we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a low town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, let's move out. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl. But nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Eda should work. Once she's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah. Best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Lord. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. You got a lot of irons in that fire right now. <laughs> yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. 
Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. A couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. You really do. <laughs> You're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> we got this. Our farm must start from it, Jay. Our 
approach it, eh? Venga. I'm not sure this is quite the play. He said he loved Okay, me. we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Would you care to... I, I'm with child, and it's... I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the... It's unlocked! We're good! Tell us, Dora. I think we're good. Ah, here we are. Hey, Dora! 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 How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Just open the goddamn door. Too goddamn slow. No. Uh. Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. Hurry up! I, I'm going as fast as I can. Son of a bitch! Hurry up! She could open one right. Let's go. So take the picture. I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. Open the lock boxes now. I. The, the, the manager does that. I. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. Crack one of them. As I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Come on. Let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. Give more minutes. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit. Hurry up! I heard. Go on. Hang on, 
மொத்தம் அஞ்சு லாக்கரா
போட்டா ஜப்பா இது ஒரு போலீஸ் வராது சிறப்பா இருக்கு ஏரியா My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Hmm. மாறி மாறி காட்டுறாங்க Come on now, 
boy. Okay, this is the game time. Bye!